be talking now, you can wake up just like that. If you really believe that, then you're so far gone. I mean, that is the, the, that's, that's gone. That's gone. And I don't believe anybody's that gone. You just, it, it's like, it's like a, a guy who has a, a $500 a day habit. You know, he started with one toke or whatever the fuck it is. It's just more, you start eating more and more of this shit to the point where you believe and you've got all these things. Because I know if you're that far up in the fucking exec management level, you've committed so many fucking overts and justified so many evil fucking deeds. You know it. I mean, a blind man could see it. I don't even have to know what it is. I can tell. That's why I'm so happy Mike Rinder got out. And he was the worst piece of PR you guys had. Because I would look at that guy and you could just tell that guy was... He was bad. He had done a lot of bad things. I mean, I just saw it. You could tell, you know, I mean, they put him on to defend people, Scientology. You put the Dalai Lama on and you look at him and you say, there's the sweet guy. I don't know what Buddhism is, but you can tell that's good. Deepak Chopra, you know, okay, he wants a couple of bucks, but he's, 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 he's trying to help him. This is a guy who's like, yeah, I mean, he's dark and he was like, yeah, and it was like this thing. It's like, Fucking thing, this is what you would cast as a villain in some cheap fucking uh, B-movie. What are you, crazy? And, you, you know, did you believe it? I'm sorry. I mean, he's out. I, mean, I hope he's out. That's great. But that's what I saw. You know, that's what I saw. You know, me personally, I look at David Miscavige. That's my definition of 1-1. One, one. He's good at it. You know, to lie to people like that, to take money, to have no sense of responsibility when you rip people off for hundreds of millions of dollars and then make them happy about it afterwards? You must be giggling. Arbitraries canceled. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, that's insane. So, uh, whatever, you know. But there's, so, there's some people, I, listen, the bottom line is some beautiful fucking people in there, public and Sea Org, great people. Great, great, great people. You'd be lucky to, to have a friend like that. So, uh, but that's the shame of it. And that, that's the part, you know, I don't, you know, maybe I've gone too far because I do not want to hurt somebody's feeling. I don't want to shake somebody's universe. I'm not here to, yeah, like right now I'm feeling a little, uh, only because I don't, you know, maybe, yeah, well, there's the unsugar-coated version, but there, it's got a little English on it. And I don't, my intention is not to put English on any of this. I mean, I talk in a way that's full of English, but I'm talking about, like, I don't want to, I don't have an agenda, I don't think. I mean, I just, like most people, I guess I want to help. And I suppose that's why I got into Scientology. That is, because I wanted to help. And uh, right now I'm trying to help. And I know that the Scientologists, are trying to help. They're just trying to help. I think that's what most people are trying to do, is they're just trying to help. I don't want to be a terrorist about it and shake anybody up and upset anybody. I have the, the luxury of having gotten into Scientology and after having been in it, been out. And that's a perspective that those people who are in and are not out do not have. 